Hello everyone, it's Miss Hicks. I wanted to show you a little bit of a demo on how to curve your lines. So you have your paper, okay? And then you're going to take your three seconds and you're gonna make your lines and however you want to make them, that's how you will make them. All right, so let's say that's what I'm going to do for my project. You can add more, of course. You can add less, of course, if you would like. But the next thing you want to do is you want to take all of these intersections and you want to curve out your lines and fill them in. Now, that may look different in every single area, but what it's supposed to do is help you control the problem that you have. So you're going to do that everywhere. So this little area, yeah, that's going to be curved. This little area, curve. This, curve, fill in. Curve, fill in. Curve, fill in. You can do your lines bolder or more bold, less bold. You can do your curves. Um, however you would like but every little area needs to be curved so this is going to take some time now if you didn't start doing this process yet you could do a second one you can do a second project and your first one could be your extra credit project but you want to take your time on this curving process because this is the healing. This is the control of the problem that you have in your brain right now. For me right now, it's my internet instability. So now I'm thinking about that and I'm thinking about how I had to cancel all my Zoom classes today because of my internet instability. And that's the problem that I'm thinking about. I'm controlling it now that I'm adding my curves into my project. Then you'll take your coloring material and you will color in your areas that are ready to go. But this is not ready to be colored yet because I have not curved all of my intersections. Even these ones. Curve. Doesn't matter how small they are or how large.